Welcome to today's 3D print. If you guys haven't seen already, huge shout out to Joel Telling. He featured me on his um, 3D printer giveaway the other day and it had a rather dramatic effect on my channel. I now have more than triple the number of subscribers. I totally understand that most people are subscribing to participate in the prize. My objective now is to earn your loyalty to get you to keep coming back, to give you something of value. So, a project I started long before he did that video. <laughs> um, let's get into it. Freedom as you know it is over. Joelbot overlords are coming and there's nothing you can do about it except participate. Here comes the robots. So, someone named at Fat Silica, Siliac, I think it's um, make Mrs. Muse, Maker's Muse's wife, girlfriend, I'm not sure. She designed a logo for Joel Telling, and it was like a, a robot Joel. It became called Joelbot. Then a Pyro Design, incredible, saw that and said, I want to make that real. And so he did. He made the Joelbot. It is a three-dimensional creation of Miss Muse's robot design for Joel Telling. And it is impressive. It's a bit of an early release, so there are some issues, but they're no big deal. Just run it through NetFab, you'll be fine. You need support at key points if you decide to do what I do and go Hashtag Mega Joel. <laughs> this is printed in Maker's Geek's Crystal PLA on the Anycubic i3 Mega, and it did a wonderful job. So I decided, okay, how big can I go? So I did 120% on the Ender 2 in Maker Geek's Crystal PLA Red, and you get this. Very impressive. I have as per your guys' suggestions, I have a mic now. Hopefully it works well. I think it clips quite a bit, but we'll see. And I also have more light. <laughs> and I believe I see a difference on the camera. I got I got so much light in here, it's crazy. It's, it's got to be a thousand watts incandescent equivalent. It's all LEDs, of course. So that's not enough. Got to go bigger. I like big. That's what I do. 220% Joelbot on the CR-10S. Check that bugger out. And that was all one print. Now, a little tip for you guys. When you print something like this, you run into issues. For example, anytime you have a 9090 on your print surface, such as that leg right there. See how it's a round top and then a square leg? That's a 90 degree surface change. And if you want to save filament, you're not going to use infill on this. It's going to be hollow. So as per my video on perimeters and wall thickness, I used four perimeters on this. The perimeters will allow you to survive transitions, and that's important. But 9090s are hard no matter how many perimeters you have, so you do need key amounts of infill. So on this model, I have infill here at the ankle, through the knee, at the hip joint. I added a little bit of infill here just in case, and I added infill here at the neck, because the neck on this thing is very small. So it will wiggle around quite, you can even see it, this neck is flexible, even with four perimeters. And um, also infill it in here, which is the same height as the neck, thankfully, because this arm can be a little weak. This is printed at 220%. It is 395 millimeters tall, printed on my CR-10S in Zyro's marble filament. So, Joel, you now have a marble statue. Isn't that cool? I love that. And it came out fantastic. A Pyro Design did a rather excellent job on making this. So, why did it take me so long to make this video with the Joelbots? I mean, I had all those printed, you know, before last week. You can see my Twitter stream. I have them all going. Why did it take so long? Because <laughs> I want to see how big I can go. Just how big could I reasonably go in a reasonable amount of time?
It took approximately 160 hours of printing in three parts and used 1.8 kilograms of plastic. It is the largest Joel surrogate currently in existence on this planet and is the largest Joel bot currently in existence on this planet. And I plan to beat it eventually. Maybe. We'll see. This is a six, almost 700% Joel bot. And it is a 62% full Joel. So this is 62% cheating, including his hair. This is a 62% scale model of Joel. It's Joel bot. Can I get this in the frame? Okay. Definitely large child sized. And it keeps going and going <laughs> and going. <laughs> and he's about to high five my ceiling fan, and I just broke him. <laughs> I'll tack that together again. I only have a couple of drops of glue holding him together because I want to put lights inside of it. So let me back up here so you can see how big this thing is. There it goes. <laughs> That's how incredibly large this thing is. This is ridiculous. Oh my God, it's so big. It is the largest 3D print I've ever made. I've never made one this large. This is incredible. And I am probably the first person who can do something no one else can do yet. I can give a nearly full-scale Joel a virtual high-five. So, high-five, Joel. <laughs> thanks for making a great channel, and thanks for um, showing my channel on your channel. I really appreciate that. And if you want a full-size one of these, maybe you can commission me to make one. I don't know. It might be fun to try to make a 100% Joel bot. I would have to cut it into at least eight or nine pieces because some of these pieces would have to be cut in half in order to scale them up large enough to end up with a six foot one inch tall Joel bot. That might be fun. You guys have a great day. <laughs> You're also screwed. <laughs> Bow to your robot overlords. The Jolbot Army. That little itty bitty one down there is the 100%, 120%, 220%, and 665%.